I'm just running on power. Power cut. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Even in yeah, our yeah. state, it was very, very severe actually. Uh, uh, so I'm talking to Rajesh in uh, Toronto. Uh, I have a unique pleasure of bringing him on this uh, forum to talk about the application that we did. It has been more than one year, I think. Uh, uh, that we did the application and and then uh, there was some some uh, hiccups in between. There's a lot of updates and sending reminders and stuff and and change of mind and stuff. So uh, as of yesterday, the application is approved and uh, uh, so that's the end of the long patience game. So I you know I invite Rajesh to to tell the viewers about what really happened, what what was how was the journey like, and what what can we learn from your journey. Yeah, so we applied. We we applied on April 14th last year, so yeah. it was almost more than a year actually. Mm -hmm. So what happened with our application was we already the uh, we the first problem which we faced is uh, we changed our passport actually. Uh, we we cancelled our old passports and we put our we got our new passports with each other's name. So we did that and due to that we faced some problems actually like uh, getting the request letter to submit biometrics again and again and all that stuff. Yeah. But the but apart from all that, uh, so what I have observed is like. Uh, I made a very long application, I would say. And that is one drawback I would say like I, I would suggest from from my whole experience what what I would say I would suggest the application to be made to the point like it should be crisp and it should include all the details it shouldn't be like stories that that's what I personally feel and apart from that it's a very long journey frustrating journey like I would say <clears throat> The, the the most uh, frustrating part was seeing people uh, getting the password requests like after I mean, they, they submitted the applications after you and they got the password request why we didn't get and all that stuff yeah but uh, as as always like each application is different that's what everyone says yeah so, no now you have been you have been married many years uh, uh, before. How many years were you married? Two or three years before you came to uh, Canada for a PhD two, program. I think two years. So I came to Canada on in 2018, and uh, we got married on. I got married on 20 in 2020. Two years after I came to Canada. After two years, okay. And uh, yeah. you are you are not like a simple student who does a college diploma. You are doing a PhD. From University of Toronto, you're getting stipend, you're getting grant, uh, yeah. so your income is okay. Your wife is also working in in uh, in India. She has a good job, uh, and uh, uh, still, still there was a problem on uh, because when you came to me, you were uh, she was declined once yeah. or twice. Uh, she was she was declined thrice before I came to you. Oh, sorry, three times. Yeah, three times we applied. She was declined. Three times, okay. Yeah, we applied for study permit also twice. That was refused and on work permit okay. open. Work. So, so, so what, what, what made you, what made you, uh, 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 you? So, even a person like you, you are, you are a smart fellow, you are a researcher, you are yourself a PhD student. Uh, after three refusals, uh, you, you really yeah, like thought, you, you really thought. Like, like, you cannot handle. Sorry. Uh, after three refusals, uh, you know, you thought is out of your control to to bring the wife. Yeah, like even even before talking relating to that, like I would say, like yeah, I I have been doing PhD, but still I am not an expert in immigration. Yeah, so experts yeah. are experts, right? So. 
it doesn't matter you are doing phd or anything experience and expertise matter so that that's true so what we did was we hired a we hired an incompetent consultant like so she uh, i i don't want to say the name but yeah so they what like the funny thing is they were more confident in in our visa than we are means we already had two study refusals why when they when we went to our previous consultant uh, for applying for open work permit and then they were more confident like i couldn't understand like they, they were saying that it's very easy you just apply and you will get it dependent on the math thing very easy very easy you know like at some point like i was thinking what like is it so difficult is it so easy to get an open work permit then why why did i go for study permit did i did i make a mistake and all that stuff and then within one week you know we we applied in february 2020 around february 19 and we got a refusal within one week february 27 2020 and then that's it we were shocked and we don't know what to do like these, I, were, these were consultants in hyderabad i think no i visakhapatnam like i we visakhapatnam Yeah. yeah so uh, uh, like we we really need to do a research even while hiring a consultant that's what i would say like we cannot go to a consultant who is just beside our house you know that go that <laughs> yeah i i i can share my experience you know when i uh if somebody in my family is sick and then not only i have to do research about the medical problem but i also have to now do research about which doctor is the right one and in any city in india for example uh, any small city or big city in india there are hundreds and hundreds of doctors it is impossible to find out which doctor is the right one and doctors they don't talk much they want fees for yeah. and they 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 don't give time to uh, hear you out and it, this is a challenge in every every field and in immigration immigration also uh no matter which immigration lawyer or consultant you go to even in canada where you are in toronto there must be about 500 consultants in canada uh you can you can call them any one of them and i i bet they don't talk to you more than 5 minutes and uh, they want money entire money up front without any uh guarantee nothing and without any confidence that they tell, tell you they don't tell you their strategy they don't tell you your uh, uh you know any any other thing if they have any unique innovative ideas uh to to make like uh, some thing and then they don't expect you to uh, you know pay customer service to you so so example i know in your case i think uh, every uh, frequently every month or so you've been asking me to provide an update what is in the screenshot uh, can mm-hmm. we do a web form can we do something can we do other things so customer service costs time and labor and money and I I I can challenge I can I have worked for immigration lawyers in Canada I know what immigration lawyers do and how they do this I can challenge any immigration lawyer to provide that much of customer service which we did in your case to provide you an update and email response within time like within one or two days uh, uh not not yeah, like uh, like I, I I want to I I want to say one thing like maybe we yeah. would say exaggeration but in anyway. i the main purpose i hired you was this uh, interview you know like we were uh, we had this three refusals and we were very i i started seeing these youtube videos right so that is where i came to know about you and then you know i, I wasn't even aware that there would the uh, there would be interviews for a spouse open work permit before starting to see your videos you know and then yeah. and then i thought like after seeing the videos and their experience you know like you put the experience right i thought that interview cannot be done alone like i just need first experience yeah. person you know for preparation like since we had refusals in case we had an interview then i don't want to hire 
any consultant out there you know, just like that. that that's the main reason you know, like that's i, I would really reason. say to anyone like if they get an interview you know, i actually suggested you all to, but i don't know yeah we, we have we have lot of we have lot of clients right now for interview we are my my uh, my calendar is lined up with clients in india who have been scheduled for interview they are they are being called by the by the embassy here uh, for the spouse visa interview and spouse visa interview is 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 killer uh, you know if you uh, if if the person cannot answer those questions in the right way he is not going to get the visa he's he's going to he's going to uh, you know go home disappointed uh, so that's what, the that's more what, uh, worrying the more concerning part which i saw is like this misrepresentation right that would be much more problem uh, tell me tell me tell me something else about uh, uh, tell me something else about your application was pending i remember last year when i was doing the application you told me that you know uh, submit the application within the some uh, day because it's uh, astrologically auspicious day or something it was midnight here in india and i was <laughs> trying to submit before the date changes yeah like what day was that it's april 14 April fourteenth. Okay. I okay. I am not I am not uh, completely aware of what that day was and how why is it as auspicious and all. Just parents told and that's it. Oh, just parents. So so did you did you tell your parents that the that file which was submitted astrologically now it has been approved? <laughs> yeah yeah of course. Okay. Of course. Maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll go and see them today. I'm in India. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay here. maybe i will go and see them in vishakhapatnam i know i was in vishakhapatnam about 4 years ago there's a big naval shipyard and uh, there's a big ocean uh, you know a lot of ships passing by and they have a training exercise uh, different uh, country ships pass through yeah, it's a, it's a nice it. it's a nice I'm nice place to visit i was there for just one or two days i think maybe one day but i i like to go there if possible one more time uh, also in the in the middle of this uh, application when your application was pending you also asked me and you also wanted to do a visitor visa application tell me about the visitor visa application and do you remember i told you it's a waste of money and time yeah so um, on september 7th like they started a new portal and then everyone was everyone was on that like it it was it was uh, it was assuring that everyone will get will get a decision within 14 30 days so we we start you are lured actually like we applied visitor visa on that portal and it took 5 months to process and yeah ultimately eventually we got it refused yeah yeah, yeah like uh, visitor visa applying for a spouse visitor visa like, i i think that that's your suggestion i guess right Well, I, applying I, I told you from my experience, I've been doing this for more than 20 plus years. All right, so I'm I did not start this business just last year or so. Uh, in Canada, I've been doing this for more than 16 years. Earlier, I was doing this in uh, U.S. application, green card application also. So I've been doing this long time. I know from my heart which application is the right application at what point of time. uh but that's okay that's that history now your wife has a visa this is the that, that added history. up to our uh, refusals actually so we have a... yeah so so after after three refusal this is the fourth approval no this is fifth there was oh. a visitor visa oh, refusal okay. number 5 number 5 yeah, yeah four four refusals and finally fifth approval okay Yeah, would you like to would you like to i am in india right now before the power goes off and yeah, my laptop shuts off would you like to say something in uh, telugu language to people who are who are listening to this i'm going to visit uh, hyderabad uh, because there are a lot of immigration consultants in hyderabad i was there at least two three times and i see a lot of uh, you know big names of immigration consultants in hyderabad would you like to say some message in telugu language so that people there can can listen in and can understand what what your experience is yeah yeah I, i just want to say jagratthaga undandi consultant ni hire cheskunadu 
mean that means be careful uh, be careful when you hire a consultant don't don't hire as you like well well they yeah, they, like all, we, they, they, they already know i mean there are there are hundreds and thousands of uh, india is a booming place for policies application and there are thousands of consultants in all big cities combined uh, i mean many people will uh, just like doctor you pick a wrong doctor you are in a big trouble uh, you know you pick a wrong consultant you not only lose money uh, you are uh, you lose time and uh, you yeah. are disappointed so it is always a good idea to choose best if you're lucky i always said uh, i always said some videos that you know if you are lucky if you are lucky if you have good karma if you're lucky you'll get the best lawyer and the best doctor possible to solve the problems if you're not lucky they will destroy your life that's what it is say but uh, hey, thank you very, thank you very much almost two years after almost two years you know five five refusals eh five refusals all right hey thank you thank you rajesh uh, goodbye to you and uh, congratulations to your wife and uh, I'm glad. I'm glad she will be there before Canada Day. So I'd like to see some uh, good, happy photos on the Toronto airport when you go to receive her. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right. Thank. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.